T minus 13 seconds. T minus 10, go for main engine start. We are go for main engine start. T minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. Some people have called the Hubble telescope uh, the most important payload the shuttle has ever delivered. Is there a special feeling about this mission for any of you? You've all been up there before. Is this one really different? One of the main objectives of the Hubble Space Telescope is to try to understand the true nature of our universe. It makes little kids' eyes light up to know that you're a part of a mission that seems to have excited the nation as well as the world. We, we never <laughs> saw it from this angle. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, we're going to relive the Hubble deploy experience. I still have trouble when I look at it from out here, remembering it's that dark. we lived and worked in there for I know, a week. I know. Uh, and there's nothing but great memories. We yeah. had such a fabulous crew and a great flight. It's kind of hard to believe that you and I are going to be together in this vehicle after I know. almost 30 years. Isn't that cool? It is cool. It's uh, a long time. <laughs> I was 16. I don't know about you. I was going to say, we were 16 when we flew, but uh, I'm really pumped to get inside. So it's going to be I don't great. Well, let's go tell some stories and reminisce right. what happened in 31. Let's go. You're going to get really mad at me if I want to rub the name of my spaceship, aren't you? Ah, oh, darn. Air kiss. <laughs> Coming in, if that's okay. Welcome aboard. All right. It's like crawling in on the cape, except for it's the <laughs> wrong way around. No kidding. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh one. man, you gotta be kidding. Your light one, sir. This is incredible. Is that cool? Look at that. Where that this platform is, that used to be your dressing room. Yeah, storage and dressing. Yeah. Those who yeah. cared about dressing yeah. in privacy yeah. would sneak in there. You know, I can go on tiptoes. I'm not all that tall, but I can go on tiptoes and touch the overhead. And my wings, my wingspan is locker front to locker front. Yeah. yeah. And then it's kind of you know, two of me across. And you do that for folks. Like, yeah. How many of you were there? Wait, there's my locker MS1. I was always blue. <laughs> no, I think I was orange once. You remember, we had the sleep compartment over here. And that's the new galley. You would have one set of crew members who were hovering around the floor doing yeah, experiments. coming over the top here. Another two that were up here, people floating down from the flight deck through the mid-deck. All hit play. So you're in the airlock here, and yep. this used to be right about where we're sitting. Yep. And you're buttoning up, Bruce. I was still in the mid-deck to hand you yeah. things. So that's this mid deck. I mean, and that's you are right are. about here My feet are with right your there. feet over by the toilet. Deck. This and is the partially deployed array that's right. that sent everybody into a panic. Yeah. Hubble's on batteries. The batteries are winding down. It needs both solar rays to provide power, or the batteries will run out, and then this thing will be dead before it starts. And that's why we were hustling so much. Ah, oh, it's moving again now. Everybody's going. Whew. So right now you have a 200,000 spaceship and a 25,000 pound spaceship flying in close formation at 17,000 <laughs> miles an hour. That's what, and it looks, it just looks still, but this is a 17,500 mile an hour shot. The other thing that's uh, uniquely different about when we were here the last time, my yeah, knees my, are now knees are almost like 30 years old. <laughs> This was a whole idea. There you go. I was going to say about to, I think about to, right about to where you are. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. People don't understand how massive yeah. Hubble was. Hubble's the most productive observatory that's ever been built. My favorite image is the deep field yes. image where we turned Hubble out there for days yep, just uh, stare. into what we thought was the darkest part of the universe. And holy cow! You've got planets and galaxies yes. and just opened up our horizon. Look 
looking out the app windows, they became useless for a lot of the time because it was all bubble and it was all the, the sun shield. You know, as exciting as it is, look at all the stuff you say, okay, I can do this stuff. I remember yeah. this. If we could be beamed into space right now, we could do this. You remember your first yeah. sunrise or sunset? Yeah. The lights come up and the lights go down every 45 minutes. That's 16 sunrises and sunsets in a day. That's crazy. You'd watch the line on the ground from day to night. And then all of a sudden, bang. got us home, took care of a lot of my friends and colleagues. Pretty good space truck. Roger that, Discovery. Welcome back. Congratulations on a super mission, and the world is looking forward to reaping the benefits of your good work. Okay, thank you, Steve, and uh, we sure uh, enjoyed it also. It was great fun. It sure looked like it.